I know after game one, you were asked about not getting to the free throw line. It's been a, how do you how do you kind of try to keep that out of your your mindset in terms of going to game three that you haven't been there yet, um, and yet obviously I'm sure there's times you felt you've earned that right. How, where's kind of your headspace in that in that regard? I mean, I'm not gonna put too much emphasis on getting to the free throw line. Um, you know, my game you know, really doesn't draw too many fouls, too much contact. You know, I think maybe on average, I'm like three, maybe four free throws a game. So to sit here and say, I need to begin to the free throw line five or six times is, I don't think it credit our team, it'll help. But me trying to force contact is just not my game. Um, just playing within rhythm, you know, playing my game, you know, helps me get to the free throw line every now and then. But my game doesn't, you know, necessarily say I need to force myself to the free throw line. Jeff, over here on the left. Chris, the summer of 2019 free agency, you had some options. Uh, what were the factors that led you to re-sign with the Bucks? Knew I had a chance to compete uh, for a championship like I am here today. Um, that was the main reason why. Um, another reason why is, you know, uh, this organization, they believed in me um, once I got traded here. Um, they gave me an opportunity, gave me a chance. Um, so many things I need to work on to stay here. Um, and, you know, they've been honest with me since day one. Um, and, you know, the main thing is being able to compete. And the last couple of years, we've been able to compete for a championship. We may not have gotten it. Um, we're here today. Hopefully, we, we do get it done. But, you know, as players, that's all you want to do, um, be able to be financially secure um, with your family um, and after, after you're done playing, but also be able to compete. Back right. Hey, Chris, you guys are 7-1 and one at home during this run so far. What do you feel like has contributed to the success inside Pfizer Forum? I think one is, you know, our home crowd for sure. Um, you know, having that home court or playing on your home court in the playoffs is a huge key. Um, you know, it's, it's tough to win on the road always, and it makes it a little bit sweeter to win on the road. But, you know, having that home court and that home base, home crowd um, behind you um, is, is, you know, huge for the adrenaline just to give you that confidence, that, that extra burst, that extra energy. Brian in the middle. Hey, Chris, you've had so many games, it seems like, where maybe you're a little bit off in the beginning and then, you know, you heat up like that. Uh, when you have a whole game the other night where you never kind of get going, do you spend any time looking at, you know, maybe what went wrong or you just know the next game it's it's going to be there? You definitely look at the film, um, trying to figure out, you know, good, bad, ugly, everything. Um, you know, in the first half, I had some shots that just went in and out for me. Sometimes it's like that. Um, second half, you know, just wasn't able to, to, to find a way to get myself going. Um, and that's really all it was. Steve on the right. Hi, Chris. Um, I've heard basketball people talk about how one's level of frustration is sort of inversely related to how much control you have over the outcome. So fans get really frustrated because they can't control anything. Coaches are somewhere in the middle. And players, you have the next game in your hands, in essence. Um, where would you put this team's frustration level from what you see and, and your own to this point? I mean, we can't get too high, can't get too low. We've been saying that the whole season, the whole playoffs. Um, you know, we've been down 0-2 before. I'm not saying we could do the same exact thing we did last time. Um, it's going to be tough. Um, that's a great team over there. But, you know, we just got to stay the course, um, you know, figure out the things that we did wrong, figure out the things we did do good, and, you know, continue to do the things we do well and try to expand on that um, and limit the things that, you know, we didn't do too well. Didn't do too well. Dave over here. Hey, Chris, on the Sun side of things, they're giving a lot of credit to Bridges for his length, athleticism, commitment to guarding you wherever you're going. What's that been like, that matchup been like for you for the first two games of the finals? Uh, you know, he's a great defender. He's a great player. Um, he had a hell of a game from them last game. Um, smart defender. They're a smart team. Um, but you know, I've seen a lot of different coverages, a lot of different um, guys on me, small to get up under me, um, tall and longer, um, just to so I can see their length. Um, you know, I just, no, I don't focus on the defenders too much. I know what I, I can do um, with different guys. Um, I feel like I have a game that, you know, can score many different ways, um, you know, attack and play make many different ways. So um, it's just on me to, to do those things. Tim, here on the left. You, you mentioned before the situation you guys are in against Brooklyn, coming back home down 0-2. I know it's obviously a different series, but, how much does that guy does that give you guys any extra confidence knowing you've been through this situation before or is it kind of a totally separate situation a little bit of both i mean uh 
Game one in Brooklyn, I think I forgot how much we lost by. Um, game two, we got smacked, embarrassed. Um, a lot of people thought our season was done. Um, we still believed in ourselves. Um, we came back and you know had a ugly, grinded out game um, that we found a way to win. Um, you know, sometimes it's not going to be sometimes it's not going to be pretty. Sometimes it's going to be ugly. Um, we just got to find a way to win one game at a time from here on out. On the right, Jim. Hey, Chris. Um, you mentioned last game. Some of them were in and out. There might have been five or six. Uh, have you liked your your shots these last two games in terms of where you're getting and, and how they've looked? Or and does that mean you kind of want to keep doing that? Or, or is there some adjustment to be made in terms of where you're going and, and maybe what you're trying to do? No, I just play within the flow of the offense. Um, you know, some of our offense assess, I know where I'm going to get shots. But other than that, uh, just play within the game. Um, not trying to put too much of emphasis on say I need to get to this spot more. I need to stay away from here. I think that makes you easy to guard. Um, you know, I feel like I'm able to score in a lot of different ways in a lot of in a lot of areas. So um, just playing within the offense, not trying to force teams, but, you know, just letting the game come to me. Vince in the back left. Hey, Chris, the, the last two series, you kind of started off slow and game three was kind of the turning point for you individually. What is it that you see that enables you to sort of make those quick adjustments on the fly and have those explosion games? Just seeing the different coverages and knowing uh, where I can attack sometimes, knowing uh, where I can get to my spots or, you know, just drawing a crowd. Um, you know, I can't really describe some of those games where I just got hot. I mean, uh, just found a rhythm and seemed like I couldn't miss a shot. But most nights I'm not like that. Sometimes I just have to be patient and let the game come to me. Um, and that's all I can do for the most part. Over to Chris for Zoom questions. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Um, one thing I've been wondering about is you've got Jay Crowder on the opposite team. He's not someone who's filling up the stat sheet in terms of scoring lots. So what's the scout on a player like that? Because he offers a lot of leadership and defense. But, you know, how d does uh, Coach Bud give you anything to prepare for that sort of thing? I mean, with, you know, all their guys, um, you just have to be solid. They're a deep team. Um, Chris Paul and Devin Booker, they do a great job of keeping those guys involved and, um, you know, teaching those guys how to play the right way um, and play how, how to play off those guys by cutting, um, relocating to, to the open spot. Um, the best thing you can do with those guys is be as solid as you can. You can't disrespect them um, because they can play, they can shoot, they can score. That's great. Thanks. Uh, Stephanie? Chris, you guys have played in Atlanta. You played in Phoenix. How much are you looking forward to playing on your home court finally before your fans here in the NBA Finals? Yeah, we can't wait. It seems like it's been a month since we've been back in our, our home building playing. Um, we can't wait to see the crowd um, tomorrow night. You know, and they, they've been waiting on one of these games just like Phoenix was for, you know, for years. Um, you know, I have too. My whole career I've been waiting for um, a, a game like this here at home with our fan base behind us. So um, I'm sure it'll be exciting. Let's go to Mar Marquez. Hey, uh, Chris, you talked about the shots going in and out for you. I took a look. I mean, I think three of your first six misses in the first half all just kind of rattled halfway down, come out. How much more frustrating or what's the, what, how does that feel to see that happen over and over and over again, especially starting out uh, in the first half? Yeah, it's, uh, I guess you could say it's a little frustrating um, when you feel like they're going in and just, you know, find a way to pop outside of the rim. Um, but you just got to stay with it, have a short memory. Um, that's one thing I've had, you know, especially this year, this playoff run is I have a short memory with my shots, whether they're going in and out um, because... You know, you can't make them all. Um, hopefully I won't miss them all. But just to stay, stay the course, stay confident, um, and, and keep being aggressive.